Do you have a dream, but you're afraid to take action? Today, my guest shares her insight on how you can develop a can-do attitude on this episode of Coffee with Tea. So please, stick around and enjoy the show. Welcome to another episode of Coffee with Tea. I am your host, Tanya Tyler, and I'm excited because we're going to be doing catch up. You know, I love to be able to check in on people and see what they've been doing since the last time we talked. So again, we're going to have Miss Shelby St. Clair on here. She's going to tell us what's been going on um, with the Boss Lady Agency. So without further ado, let me start talking and welcome Miss Shelby to the show. Welcome, Miss Shelby. Hello. Oh, I'm so excited to be back here and just talking with you. I think that you are probably one of my favorite like energy types to just like be able to sit and talk with because you're so fun and just like this free spirit that's just so enjoyable to just be in the presence of for a little bit. So thank you. Well, thank you. I was thinking the same thing about you. So I'm going to say it must be like minded people connect. So that that energy thing's got to be true. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know what I oh like I said I like always talk to people for those who are new you know new new subscribers who haven't checked out Miss Shelby before I like for her to share her story and then we can dive into a little bit about what she's doing because for you who want to be influencer she's got some juicy gems so please <laughs> make sure you check out this interview to the end so without <laughs> without going on too much Miss Shelby please. Tell a little bit about who you are, your journey story, and how we even got to this conversation. Yeah, so my entrepreneurial journey started in 2012 with launching my first business after college, and it just kind of it just kind of flew from there because I finally realized that this is what I'm supposed to do. You know, I'm not somebody that follows rules very well. I don't like being told what to do. So working for somebody else was never really my jam. You know, I did it from the moment I turned 16. I had a job lined up before my 16th birthday because I wanted to start working as soon as possible. It's just always been my mindset of just being able to take care of myself and not have to worry. And so once I, you know, got the taste for having a boss and then I moved into being able to move up in the uh, retail world and being store manager and things like, that. I was like, okay, this is great, but I still have a boss. I still can't do everything my own way of how like, I feel like it would work great for my own just energetic system and flow. So I started launching businesses and doing the thing and I learned a whole lot and I failed, but it wasn't really failures because I always learned something new that allowed me to take those little pieces, those little nuggets, uh, moments of truth and reality, and take them into the next journey. So then the next journey was better because now I had newfound knowledge and new understanding. And so as I've gone through all of this journey of exploration and entrepreneurship since 2012, in 2017, I launched the Boss Lady Agency coaching company for sole purpose driven female entrepreneurs. And I did it because I really wanted to be able to help other people. The whole basis of everything was not only to be able to provide myself with freedom to do what I wanted, when I wanted, wherever I wanted, but to be able to really help women to step into their purpose, to answer their calling, to be able to really envision that life that they dream of and bring it into reality rather than, you know, sitting there with all of the fears that, oh, I can't do it. I'm going to fail. What if nobody believes in me? You know, the what ifs that everybody goes through. I wanted to be a person in somebody's life that could help them move through that, move past those fears. And especially, you know, a lot of us deal with things throughout our life that become a trauma and we have triggers. And so I work with my clients to move through those and move out of those and to just really be able to come into themselves for the first time in their life where they honestly can look in the mirror and be like, I love you. I love myself. And I am confident that everything that I desire and dream of is going to happen. 
And that's what we're doing. And it is so fun. I absolutely love the work that I do, the women that I get to support and just watch them transform. I think that's the, my favorite part of what I do is literally watching somebody come to me and be like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know what I'm doing. I have all of this. I'm scared. I'm terrified. I don't have the support that I wish I did. And then watching them completely transform into like, I am a boss and I could do this and I am meant for this. It is so beautiful. And, you know, I'm doing it while being a single mom that came out of the blue when my husband passed away when I was six months pregnant. And so it's been another journey of self-exploration for myself while having this business and helping others, but also learning a lot about me and how to balance work and life. <laughs> right, right, right. I, I, like I said, I love your story. And I'm, for those who are hearing a little echo, I'm sorry, maybe it's just me. Let me move the mic a little way. So, <laughs> so what I was saying, like I said, you share your story, how you overcome. And I know we probably delve a little bit into about how you overcome your struggles and it's your mindset. So I know when you transition in or, you know, you're dealing with the women who are coming to you and stuff like that. What's the biggest I, um, hold up that you think that they just don't get that, you know, is it that they've been told that they can't do it or, you know, what what's the biggest hold hold up for those who are coming to you when they're looking for your services and stuff like that? I think what naturally happens to us all from the moment that we're born and we start exploring things and we start testing our limits, right? And we're told, no, you can't do that. And we're told no so much throughout our entire lives. You know, no, you can't do that. No, that's too hard. No, don't try it. It's, you know, oh, what if you fail? And you have so many people coming into your mind and telling you and really getting you to believe, even if it's just on a subconscious level, our subconscious mind rules 97% of our choices. So it's things that we've heard from our past or even things that we maybe have read of somebody else's failures and it becomes our own story of what if that happens to me? Or what if I'm judged? What if I'm not supported? What if nobody believes in me? And so there's all of these worries about everybody else besides ourselves, And we don't think about us. You know, we have these, these thoughts and these wants and these dreams and these desires that come into us for a specific reason. They didn't just, you know, we didn't just randomly create them. We literally had them come into our mental space for a reason. And most of the time we just push them away. because we're like, yeah, that's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. That's not for me. I can't do that. But why would we be thinking it if it wasn't something that we feel purpose or connection to that we could really potentially create success from? And so it's for a lot of women the first time in their lives when they're finally taking a stand for themselves and saying, you know what, I'm not going to worry about all of that. Who cares if somebody's going to judge me? Because guess what? They're not paying my bills and they're not in my feet and they don't know the dreams and the desires that I want. And I'm going to make them real for myself because they don't matter. And so it's really just helping women get to that point of being like, this is for you. It's not about anybody else because we all worry about everyone else. We put ourselves in the back burner. So it's just like really getting them confident into just believing that like you're, you're destined for greatness. We all are. We're all put on this earth for a purpose and we have to live our life for us rather than worrying about everybody else. Well, that's definitely like a constant reminder. So how do you, what are, I guess you say, what would be your three tips to someone who's like, I want to change, but I'm afraid. What would, what would you say to that person right now listening to you? Like, you know, talk us through like, how do you switch that mindset? First, I would ask you why. Why are you having this self-doubt? And like really dig deep because is it something that it was a story from somebody else that you've heard? You know, is it something that you have, you, you grew up being told that entrepreneurship or doing something for yourself wasn't reliable, that there's too much possibility Right. Ask yourself why, because then you're going to really be able to understand where these thoughts even spout from. And then you have to dive deeper. They say, okay, 
now I understand why I'm feeling this way, why I have this fear, why I'm even questioning this. And then ask yourself, what are my dreams? What are my desires in life? And why do I want those? And now you're going to be able to tell, it's like switch your mindset from this space of fearing because of other people and now seeing what you really want for yourself in your life. And then you have to ask yourself, when am I going to start? And you just have to do it because the longer that you sit there questioning, the longer it's holding you back from doing, from trying, from experiencing, from creating. And so it's just this mental switch that you have to go through where you're like, okay, this is it. Like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go all in. I'm going to try it. The greatest people out there that are doing amazing things in their life that are literally creating their dreams into a reality. Do you think that they sat there and allowed years to pass by questioning themselves if they should just start the thing, do the thing, try the thing? No, they're like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to see what happens. And they've created success for themselves because they created a can-do attitude. I can do this. I'm meant for this. Nothing's going to hold me back. And it's just firmly believing in that, believing in yourself. And it all starts with figuring out why you feel that way and what your dreams are. And lifting those dreams up and be like, no, this is so much more than all of these people and all of these things that I'm worried about. All of these dreams mean so much more to me. I'm just taking that step, right? We, if we stay in one place, we're never going to be able to move forward, right? We have to take one step. We have to, even if that step then makes us take a step backwards, it's like, okay, we learned something. Now let's go ahead and take another step, but maybe we take this step to the right to see what's going on over here. And then we take a step forward, right? It's just constantly moving. Like they say, move the needle forward. It's like moving ourselves forward so that we can constantly just try. I like that. Uh, oh, this is where I part, where I always try to say, if you're enjoying what Shelby's putting down, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button down there. Maybe leave us a comment. And I like what you're saying. It's because it sounds like to me, it sounds like you're doing a dance with life. You know, so if you think about, you know, sometimes we're going to go forward, sometimes we got to go back. But, you know, we got a side shift. But, you know, it's okay. Sometimes the tempo speeds up, sometimes it slows down. Mm-hmm. But it's a dance of life. And I like I like how you said starts with the questions and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. and you can do attitude. I like that. Yeah, it's it's super powerful when you start to just ask yourself things, because when we're sitting there and we're constantly just thinking of all that could go wrong but not actually asking ourselves why we feel that way. It's just this rabbit hole of telling ourselves that we can't do it because all we're doing is questioning like our worth rather than questioning our dreams and why they can be real for us. I had to take a moment. I pause on that one because that was good. Questioning (laughs) our worth. Not our doubts. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, I I like where you're going with this. It's like, like I said, I look at you and you seem so young. And I know you've gone through the struggle. So I, in, in most eyes, people are like, oh, she's so successful. But y- you had to overcome some hangups. Like you said, you shared a little bit. of. So you're basically saying is like, there's no, ex- ex- I can't even say, exclusivity on, on, on setbacks. It's your mindset that can actually get you forward, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a hundred percent. You know, and there's, I will never sit here and say that there's days that I don't question things or that I don't get into that thought process of doubting because it does happen. But the thing is, I don't sit there for long because I've done so much work on my own mindset and I do believe in myself and I know that everything is possible. And I've seen so much happen in my own life and in other people's lives that, when those thoughts come in, 
I have to be really aware because like I said, our subconscious mind is ruling most of our choices, most of our life, the way that we do things. So I have to be aware of my own self, of my mental state every single day so that when those doubts do come in, I can filter through them, push them away and be like, you're not even real. (laughs) And then when that does start to happen, I actually start asking myself, why are these these thoughts coming in? Is it because I was scrolling on social media and I was like consuming things from other people that made me start comparing maybe my journey to where they are? Or did I listen to something that was like fueled with negativity? And now I have, you know, that type of like energy and vibes thrown flowing through me. I have to ask myself these things. You know, was it maybe a situation I was in and having a conversation with people that aren't in this space where they are progressing and moving forward? You know, they, they're fine with just staying how they are, even though they're not happy with their life. And so I have to ask myself those things. What am I engaging in? What is going on around me that maybe brought these thoughts to my mind? Because you'll actually start to realize that the things that we consume, who we surround ourselves with, has a lot to do with the thoughts that we have and why we think things, why we feel things. So it's it's a constant journey. You know, it's what we're always going through. I know the Elon Musk and things like that, if they share their story, they never say, you know, there's, it's all, oh, it's all a breeze. No, everybody has hard times, hard moments. And, but it's like being aware of it and knowing how to move through it. All right. I love that. Because it's like, you, we, you had some gold, um, juicy gems in here. First, I always like to say, you know, you talked about awareness. And I guess what you were saying is, what triggered that those emotions, you know, take a deeper dive. So do you put a practice in place to have that time to reflect? Do you do like journal or, or meditate or, you know, what do you do to put those kind of things in place to build up that awareness? It, for me, it's really just pausing and reminding myself to pause because we don't do that very often in our life. We wake up and it's like this constant like roller coaster that we're on. All of a sudden we're awake and we're asleep. And the day is like, what did I do today? Right? Like, especially when you have kids, you you don't know what the heck is up and down sometimes. And so that awareness and pausing when I have those thoughts is everything. So I guess you could cause, call that pause like a moment of meditation where it's just like, okay, allowing myself to be calm and present in my own body in the space that I'm in. And I could do this anywhere right? It could be when I'm out and about when I'm driving, it doesn't have to be something where, you know, I seclude myself, it's just really like taking a moment, taking some deep breaths, allowing myself to come into the space of, okay, what are these thoughts? What are these feelings? What is it leading me to then feel even more of, you know, is it making me sad? Is it making me upset? Is it bringing fear? understanding those feelings and those emotions, and then always going back to my why, my dreams, my goals, and reminding myself, I can do this. I had those thoughts, those feelings because of X, Y, Z. Now I know that, hey, maybe that's not a great account to follow on Instagram, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unfollow them because they didn't do no good for me today. (laughs) So just being really aware of what we're intaking does so much, especially with just how the world is right now. There's so much going on and you can't, you can get your emotions and everything wrapped up so easily in it. And so I don't follow those type of things or I don't watch the news because it just gets me into a a high space of anxiety and thinking about everything else besides what I'm working on and what I'm doing to try and like help change the world, even though obviously like the world's really big and my world's really small, but to help change the world of just like my world for myself and for my clients and for the people that come into contact with me. Right. right. That's a lot to, to think about. And, and, you know, I can't, like I said, it's amazing how fast time flies by. So I really want to like, there's like a couple of questions I just have to ask really to mm-hmm. like follow up is what's the one thing I think you know, I always try to make sure that everybody understands what's the one thing you want to leave the audience with to understand when they when they listen to this video today? What is the one takeaway you want them to understand? I truly believe that people come across things for a reason. 
And so in this very moment, there might be some doubts flowing through your mind. There might be some questions within you, some fears that are holding you back. And so I want you to ask those questions that to yourself that I mentioned earlier. Ask yourself why you have these fears, why you have these thoughts, what is holding you back. Think about everything that you want and desire for your life, because again, it, it, it came into your mind, it came into your body for a purpose. There's a reason that you have those dreams and those desires, and there is a part of you that knows that you can create that into a reality for yourself. And take a step. Even if it's a small step today, take a step for your future self. Because can you imagine if you said, you know what, I'm going to take a chance today so that I can change my life tomorrow. What could happen in a year from now, three years from now, that dream, that goal that you want to, maybe it's just build a savings account, buy your first house, Maybe it's to be able to be home with your babies more or to have more time with your spouse so your spouse isn't having to work, you know, multiple jobs. Let those things push you to take that chance today and take one small step forward. Even if that small step today is just saying, you know what, I believe in myself and tomorrow I'm going to figure out how to make this happen. One thing, no matter how small, do it today. And I have to apologize because I don't think we're going to be able to get into the whole influencer thing. So maybe we have to cover, have her come back because <laughs> I know doing that, that might have drew you in. And I apologize. But 20 minutes does go by so fast. So again, Miss Shelby, where can people find more information about you, your services? And if they want to follow you, where can they find you? Yes. And it, time does fly by when you're having fun, right? <laughs> But if you are interested in learning more about, you know, social media, what I do, follow me on Instagram at the Boss Lady Agency. I share the good, the bad, the ugly, all the things over there because I want people to know that, like, being a business owner isn't a walk in the park. It's not just like you're literally flying by, holding on to your pants some days. Like, okay, is this gonna work? But that's the beauty of it. Like, we're able to do things that other people can't because we are just taking a chance and we're making it happen and we see success for ourselves. So come over, hang out with me there. I do lots of fun reels. You'll see my adorable daughter being crazy and all of her antics and just that inspiration for being able to do the things that you desire for yourself. And if any of this sounds like something that, you know, you need, that you need help with, I offer free clarity calls. You can hop on a call with me for absolutely free. We can talk for an hour. We can strategize and like really help you move through those fears, move through those things so that at the end of the call, you can see something bigger for yourself and have some action plans to be able to take that first step forward. So you can do that on my website at thebossladyagency.com and reach out to me. I would love to meet you guys. Obviously, if you're here in Tanya's space, you're probably as amazing as she is. So I would love for you to be my friend too. Oh, thank you, Miss Shelby. I always love talking to you. You have such great energy and I love talking to you. You you're you're definitely an inspiration for, for those who want to connect and, and learn how to overcome some of the struggles. So please continue wishing you lots of continued success on, on what you're doing. So Awesome. Thank you so much. And definitely also Tanya was on my podcast behind the boss lady uh, podcast. So Go find her, listen to her episode over there too, because you'll be able to see the different side of Tanya where she's not interviewer, but interviewee. <laughs> yes, yes. And I was a, such an honor to be on there. And I, this is where I wanted to remind everybody that feedback is always welcome. Email us if you have any guests or show ideas. Remember, all the links that Shelby mentioned, wait a minute, all the sites that Ms. Shelby mentioned will be in the links. So the links are posted down below. And we, again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know. Give us a comment below. And remember, if you want to continue to get all the insights, please hit that subscribe button over there. And remember, take things in stride, go with the flow, and create your own path. And we will see you back on another episode of Coffee with Tea. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Hi, everyone. This is Tanya again, popping in to say thank you for listening to today's show. Coffee with Tea interviews are always free. And if you're enjoying the wisdom and insights that are being shared, please stay and grow with us and show your financial support. You can buy us coffee or become a monthly supporter. Links are posted in the description box. And again, I wanted to personally say thank you for tuning in.